Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to another video. So a few of you have asked for an anti rainer guide, how to counter Rainer. Um, obviously I put out a full guide on Rainer. Thank you guys so much for watching that and uh, all the nice comments and stuff on that. But a few of you are asked, well, if you're doing a full guide, why don't you do one on how to counter her? So we're going to do that today. First off, general tips against Rainer is step left or side walk left. You can step most of our moves, but some of them will track to the left. But the reason we're stepping left is because her, her wavy mix up. You step this to the left. You always step this to the left. Um, even electrics. You can actually step the electrics most of the time. Um, it does have some tracking, but it the tracking isn't as strong as with um, Kazia and Devilgen. Um, but yeah, step left. One really important thing to know about Reyna is that she has very bad lows. Probably the worst lows in the game. Really terrible lows. She does have a good health sweep low um, if she transitions it into Heaven's Wrath. Like this. But otherwise, um, her lows are really, really bad. She's got very heavy commitment uh, lows and they don't do a lot of damage. This is generally why you never want to duck Reyna. Um, because you're taking a risk ducking her and you're not really taking much of a risk if you stay standing. Yes, you can eat the health, health sweep mix up, but for the most part, her lows are really, really bad. Another thing is respect Sentai, depending on how she enters the stance. We'll talk about that later. And respect Heaven's Wrath, depending on how she enters the stance. There are some specifics that we will go over later on in the video. Use mids, because a lot of the moves that she has, they high crush. So you always want to be using mids against her. Fast mids, down forward ones, lock her down. Stop her from getting going and doing this sort of stuff. Um, because once she gets going, there we go. She's in heat. Super oppressive moves. Um, it makes it very difficult for you to deal with. So use mids. Use a lot of mids. Um, also be wary if you stand around here. That's kind of perfect distance. For Reyna to use a forward forward 2 and get in and start her pressure. Um, so be aware of that. If you are going to play at this sort of range, just be ready to sidestep. Just be ready. Because she doesn't have a ton of options from this range. Really, it's uh, committing to while running 4 using an unsafe string. I mean, that didn't even hit. Using an unsafe string. She does have some moves that can approach you. But they're not... Um, they're not super punishing if you get hit by them. Uh, but forward forward 2 is one to be like very wary of from this distance. It's actually better to stay like close or super far away from Brainer, in my opinion. Those are the two distances that I would focus on when you're trying to counter her. Another thing, probably the biggest thing about Rainer is when she's in heat, she is very, very scary. So stay the hell away from her when she's in heat. She can do a really crazy move. You can do a really crazy move from distance. Which is a natural on normal hit. Um, but the thing about it is it's crazy damage if she hits it. It's also safe and it does chip damage. But as soon as she does that and closes to distance, she gives up her turn and now it's your turn to lay on the pressure, right? So do all of your stuff. As soon as she uses this move, it's your turn. Another thing... When she's in heat. This is why you want to stay away. Because if she gets in and does this on block. Uh, it's You're at like a major disadvantage. Even if she does this on block. Uh, when she's in heat. And I'll show you why later on in the video as well. Um, also the key thing about this move. We will cover it later. From distance. It's basically homing. You cannot step. But you have time to block right. From point blank. Very steppable. You step this move at point blank. If you think if you think she's gonna do it, step it. Okay, so first off, we're gonna go through. We've split these. Uh, we split the moves up into sections again, like we did with the Alisa guide. I'm gonna show you moves that you can step very easily first. The the common moves, the moves that she does in neutral. Okay, so for these moves, even though some of them track to the left. You still want to be um, stepping to the left. Because most of them... 
will just miss. You want to be side walking to the left. You have to be pretty early as well with the sidestep. I mean... I don't know why that tracked. But yeah, the general rule of thumb is when Rain is in the neutral, you step it to the left. The next, See, that did track. So some of them do track. 112 is very scary if it tracks. Although it's not because... You can react to block it, right? So there is that. Um, but generally, those moves you step to the left, they aren't as scary as you might think. They are. Some of them are oppressive, and you you should be stepping them to the left, especially forward four on block because it's minus. It's because it's plus two for her on block. Next thing, I'm going to show you some of her um, wind god step stuff. So now I'm going to show you her electric stuff. You can step all of this. Some of them do track a little bit. You can react to that, right? And then lock punish. I mean, I don't... Some of it does track, right? Most of this stuff does track to the right. So, this is the reason you step her to the left. Because the majority of her stuff... Does track to the right and not to the left. If you do it perfectly... You're super close. It's quite hard to replicate this. It's not as scary if you step to the left. It is still very, very powerful stuff. But you can react somewhat to the health. But generally, you want to be stepping her to the left. Because most of the stuff that she does, even the electrics, will, will just uh, whiff. And then obviously whiff punish, right? Damn, that has some good tracking. So electric stuff does have tracking, especially the god kick has like really good tracking. But a lot of the uh it really depends on what the Rainer starts doing. Like if they if they spam a certain move out of Crouch Dash, then you can sort of decide like how you want to approach it, right? Like you would in any matchup. But uh it's really up to you. But the best bet is stepping left uh with the crouch dash stuff. Okay, so next thing, I'm going to show you a couple of strings that you really need to be aware of. Now, with these strings, they're super linear, right? Oh, actually, that one has some tracking. I didn't know that. For the most part, they're pretty linear, right? But the thing is, if she commits, she's minus 14 to both of these. Don't let her get away with these. Also... One thing, one move that I didn't put in there that I've just realized now, um, which should already be in there, I'm going to show you that quickly. So all of these are very heavily punishable. Minus 14, minus 14, minus 14, minus 14, minus 17. From full crouch, and she doesn't move like that, she's either minus 14 or minus uh, 17, was it, I think. Okay, minus 17. So just... You need to recognize these strings. Take a look at the frames. Like, they're, they're all very heavily punishable. Just remember the key thing is these are all at least minus 14. Okay, so... I'm going to show you a couple more strings you need to know. So these strings... Minus 14. If she does the uppercut at the end, that's minus 15. They're all very punishable. If you have an uh, Rainer, if you're going against the Rainer that keeps spamming these, don't let her get away with it. They're all full hit strings as well. But they're, they're very heavily punishable. Very heavily punishable. Um, a couple more strings I want you to look at. I know there's a lot of strings, but these are important ones to, to know about. So these two end the same way. See that last kick at the end? Don't let Rainus get away with this. Duck the last hit. And launch. Okay, that was just a quick thing, but um, I see a lot of people just... And I play against a lot of people online that just never duck those. 
Um, because they don't recognize the string. You need to be ducking that and launching. So another thing you really want to be aware of with Reyna is that she has terrible lows. And I mean really bad lows. She's very heavily... Com this low is very good, this Hell Sweep. If she goes into Heaven's Wrath. If they don't go into Heaven's Wrath, she's minus one and you'll reset back to neutral. So if she does a Hell Sweep like that and doesn't go into Heaven's Wrath, it is your turn. Or at least it's, it's uh, set back to neutral. She does a health sweep like this. This low that I see a lot of Rainers using. This is actually launch punishable. It's launch punishable. So don't let Rainers get away with this. Yeah, it's a really bad low, but it's one of the best ones she has. Sidestep four, on the other hand. You see a Rainer do a sidestep and do a low. It's quite a generic sidestep four. Uh, low. This is minus 13, so definitely uh, punish that. This is the only other low that she will use, that Rangers will use, outside of stances, I should say. In stances, she does have lows. Uh, minus 13. So all of her lows are launch punishable or minus 13. Generic low, obviously minus 15. L sweep, launch. This uh, two palm strike thing that she does, the low, it's minus 16. Super important to know this stuff about Reyna. That's why a lot of the time you don't actually want to duck Reyna a lot of the time. She has scary stuff and she's got un she's got unblockable grabs and stuff like this. And uh, from Heaven's Wrath, she's got another un unblockable grab. But generally, you just want to take the you just want to be standing most of the time. Unless they go into stance and they're super obvious and they start doing, they can start spamming lows, then, um, you know, block and punish. But most of her lows are probably the worst in the game. They're super commitment heavy lows and she doesn't even get a big reward for them. Like, look, I just got 17 damage, could be minus 13. I got 7 damage. This does have an extension, which is minus 12. Damak 2-2 two, two, gives you 22 damage and it's launch punishable. Hell Sweep without Heaven's Wrath gives you 28 damage. Like, uh, this is why you don't really duck Rainer, like ever, really. There's only like certain times you duck Rainer in certain situations, but for the most part, you don't duck her at all because her lows are just so bad. Um, next, we are going to go into Sentai. So if she's in Sentai, depending on how she got there, uh, there are diff different things you can do. So first off, she has a homing high, right? Everything else still tracks. She also has a homing low as well. It tracks pretty well. Like most of the stuff that she has from Sentai tracks pretty well. So sidestepping isn't really an option. She also has some really good mids from Sentai. So it also becomes pretty difficult to counter. One thing in particular, if she does this in Sentai, if she overcommits and does the power crush and she does the second hit, she's launched there. You need to remember that she's launched there. Um, so do punish her for that. But other than that, with Sentai... Okay, so the, I'm going to take you through certain circumstances that she gets into Sentai from and there are different things to do. I know it's a little complicated. Uh, Reyna is complicated to play, but she's just as complicated to fight against. So I'm going to show you some specific things to do in specific circumstances next. So if Reyna goes into Sentai after confirming 112, basically it's a guessing game. She has an unbreakable grab. She has a low that tracks and she has a homing high. Um, so if she goes into this stance from from 112 on hit, honestly, my advice is if she gets to that point, then respect her. Basically, it's a guessing game because a lot of the moves track. She has a homing high anyway. She has uh, really good mids from that stance that are safe. Um, but if she overcommits with the power crush, um, you must launch. Uh, and also, if the Rainer starts doing 
If the Reina starts confirming 1-1-2 into Sentai and then going for 4, for the 4 option, this one. If they keep doing that, you interrupt. Otherwise, on block... Oh, hang on. On block... She's plus 4 again, and she can start it all over again and go in with forward forward 2. Um, we will cover forward forward 2 in a minute, but I want to cover if she goes in with forward 2, 3 on block. Okay, so if she goes in to Sentai after forward 2, 3 on block like this, you just jab immediately. She can't do anything. And if she does the power crush, you still have time to jab and then block the power crush. So if she goes into this stance from 423 on block, like she's doing here, you always jab check. Because look, that is your defensive option. Your defensive option for Sentai, if she tries to go in from 423 on block, is an offensive option with the jab. That is the best thing to do against her. Because even if she's trying to go for the low, she won't even be able to get to the point in the low where it actually high crushes. So you can always jab. And then the last circumstance in Sentai you need to be aware of. If she tries to go in after forward forward 2. See she's plus 2 right? Well her fastest move out of Sentai is a 12 frame homing high. So if you know she's not going to do the homing high. And even if she does you see it traded there. It's actually a good idea a lot of the time. If you've got some health. And beware of the homing high okay. The homing high is the only thing that beats the jab here. And uh, the homing high does trade with a jab. But everything else, you will beat her options with a jab. Why should you keep doing the low, man? And you can float uh, Sentai 4 as well. So it's actually, depending on what the opponent likes to use in Sentai, a jab is sometimes a really good option against Reyna. Even trades with the homing high. And if she gets the low in... I missed my jab there. If she gets the low in, you don't really eat that much. It set, resets back to neutral, you take a bit of damage. Rather than her um, starting the pressure all over again. See, it's trading. And the power crush, I messed up. You can still block the power crush after you jab once. With the forward forward 2 thing, I would only jab once. I notice it's very specific countering to Reyna, but she is very she is very tricky to counter. Um, so if you're having trouble with, and she keeps spamming forward forward 2 into like things that she's not guaranteed, you shouldn't let her get away with them. Uh, and you should try jabbing if she keeps trying to do Sentai 4, where she does the overhead thing that's plus on block, or um, the power crush. You can jab and then block the power crush. The homing high trades for the jab and then the low. And the low is the only thing that the jab will whiff on. And you don't really eat that much for jabbing. Like you eat a tiny bit of damage and you'll kind of reset back to neutral because there's, because there's pushback on the low anyway. Okay, so moving on to Heaven's Wrath. Okay, so generally for Heaven's Wrath, always be aware that she can hold down forward to go into wavy wavy, right? And the, other, and the other thing is, when she goes into this, she can actually do this. She can keep going into it. So if Rainers keeps spamming this, just beware to block a Hell Sweep. Uh, because they can go back into Heaven's Wrath after a Hell Sweep. Like this, by holding down. So just beware. The only low out of, Heav out of Heaven's Wrath is very risky and they don't really get much yeah you might eat like 29 damage but the thing is but the thing is on block as you'll see when i get to the the strings from them the moves from it it's uh it's very bad for the opponent if they if they try this um it's yeah it's not great at all um beware of unbreakable grab she does have another unbreakable grab from this stance. But still, I wouldn't duck. Because this only does a lot of damage at the wall. Out in the open, it does only 20 damage. So, 
Uh, it's just weighing up, like, what's the best option, really, from Heaven's Wrath. So the options from Heaven's Wrath are what you're seeing now, what she has, right? You see that was minus 16 for her? This is minus 20 if she finishes the string. Oh, and from that, from that, uh, the two high kicks, she can hold forward to go back. She can hold down to go back into Heaven's Wrath as well. She has some good options from Heaven's Wrath. But you are still... It's still your turn most of the time after Heaven's Wrath. Unless she holds down forward to go into uh, Hell Sweeps again. Or Electric or whatever. Uh, you do have to respect this stance to a certain extent. It really depends on how they get into the stance. I should actually say before we go into the others, you can't sidestep most of this stuff. That tracks. Obviously homing high. You can step some of it. But um, there are certain moves that she has out of Heaven's Wrath which makes stepping like very scary. If she does the low or the homing option a lot, don't step. If she never does them, then by all means step. The other stuff doesn't really track. So you can get away with stepping a lot of the time. It really does depend on how she goes into Heaven's Wrath though, which was which is what I'm going to show you now. Okay, so if she goes into Heaven's Wrath from down forward 4-2 on block, what she's doing here, never respect it. Never respect it if she's not in heat. If she's in heat, there is something different uh, to do here. But, you, but if she does this on block and she isn't in heat, if she tries to go into Heaven's Wrath here, you can confirm that she's going into Heaven's Wrath and then jab interrupt or something. She can't do anything if this is on block. So if, if Rainers keep doing this, trying to go into Heaven's Wrath after doing this string, just don't respect. They can't do anything. So if she if she tries to go into Heaven's Wrath from this stance, from this string, always jab interrupt. If you try and do like a slower move, the Power Crush will hit you out of it. So it's always good to just jab here. Yeah, never respect this if, they, uh, if they're if they not in heat. We will talk about heat uh, near the end of the video. So the other times you actually respect Heaven's Wrath is when she goes into Heaven's Wrath from either doing a Hell Sweep on hit into Heaven's Wrath. She's plus six there. You can't really do much. Um, also, while standing 4-4 four, four on hit, it's also plus six. You can't uh, challenge her if she goes into Heaven's Wrath here either. Um and also if she if she does a while running four she's also very heavily plus so always respect her here obviously duck the high if you see that coming but it is homing those are the times that you respect heaven's wrath and the only time that you respect this transition for heaven's wrath is when she's in heat. And we'll talk about heat now. If I do down forward 4 2, I'm going to Heaven's Wrath here. It says I'm minus 6, right? But I'm in heat. So if I'm in heat, right? If Rain is in heat and she does uh, down forward 4 2 and it's blocked, right? She's minus 6. If the opponent tries to press afterwards, one thing that happens, if I can actually. So when Rain is in heat and she do she goes into Heaven's Wrath like this, she will automatically parry highs and mids and do this really cool grab. So this is why you respect Rainer in this transition. Obviously respect her in the other transitions as well, but this is the only time you respect uh, Rainer going into Heaven's Wrath from down forward 4-2. It's literally the only time you respect that because you can either do nothing and you press into her and get parried, but if you do a mid or a high. Choose to do a low, right? And then I do forward two into a heat dash combo. Or you do nothing. I do a low heat smash. She blocks that, but it's a low heat smash, right? Which is launch punishable on block. Very good to note. Or you just stand there and you're at the wall and I do my unbreakable grab. This is why... Rainer in Heat is kind of crazy. She's got some really crazy stuff in Heat, and this is the main thing, really. Um, this transition. Or just Heaven's Wrath in general, but it means that she can get away with going into Heaven's Wrath from this stance. 
because of lot because a lot of lows will be uh, will be beaten by Iron Hand by the time you actually react to her going into Heaven's Wrath. There you go, Iron Hand mid Heat Dash combo on normal hit. She can obviously do other things as well, or she does the low Heat Smash. So when she's in Heat, generally, this is why you stay away. <laughs> You stay away from Rainer and Heat. You stay far, far away. The other reason you want to stay away, and this might sound crazy when I explain it, but you do want to stay away from this move, is when she does this move. Does chip damage, right? She loses her turn. You can't step because the first hit is a homing. This move you can step, the double cartwheel thing, where she does the overhead cartwheel. You can step that from super close, but the thing is... It's really hard to step from range. The extensions will like almost always catch you. And it's a natural on normal hit as well. But the takeaway, right, from these move, from this move in, in particular, if she does one of the variations, you can step it a point blank very easily. If you're at distance, you cannot step. It's basically homing. Do not press into her. Even at a distance, you kind of have to respect Rainer and Heat because of that move. But the thing is, if she whiffs something, you can interrupt her during that. And the other thing is, yes, she does chip damage, but it is also now your turn and she's minus eight. So it is your turn after that. And she can't like go into Heaven's Wrath from this either. So this is, I, it's hard to counter this, but this is the only thing I can think of that actually would work against uh, Rainer in Heat. Stay away from Heaven's Wrath in Heat. If she keeps trying to initiate Heaven's Wrath, like up close, stay the hell away from her. Uh, if she starts doing that string, take your turn back. Just block it and take your turn back. Don't try and... Uh, don't try and go to Rainer when she's in heat. Because she'll either use that move, that crazy string, as a keep out tool, or she'll want you in close, do this from mid range, go into Heaven's Wrath, and then you have to take a crazy 50 50 mix up. So, yeah. Okay. That basically covers the things I can think of to counter Rainer. If you liked the video, leave a like. And if you're new here and you want to find your way back, hit the subscribe button down below. If any of you guys know of anything else, let me know in the comments and let other people know in the comments if they're struggling with a Reina matchup. She is very tricky to play. She's also just as tricky to go against. I'm not going to deny that. I love Reina, but she's really tricky to go against. Like, she's... Her mix-ups are kind of crazy. Her 50-50s are crazy. But yeah, that wraps up the video. Hope this uh, information was useful. Take care, and I will see you in the next one.